in, in uh, Neil Krista McCullough. Hi, how are you? I know you. Nice you. to meet you. Come and sit down. Which, oh. We're uh, just jawing about. This is Ralph Welsh who works with me. I'm going to take a picture with you all. So. Ralph. so, how are you? Just going from one big hoopla to the next? Huh? <laughs> Moving around. Well, I am, uh, Barbara and I have been chatting about all kinds of things on the station. We haven't done anything else but sort of chat. I'm curious to see how you. Uh, how you view this little thing. And, and rather than just talk about some of the classes that we're going through, I want this I want to be there. Sure. I want yeah. to be able to show people that this is wonderful. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. It's, it's, it's uh, you, when you when you just talk about it, uh, it doesn't seem like uh, it's quite as neat a deal. But when you begin to recognize how big it is and what it oh, is it's and what it's going to do, it, it has a it has a big impact. I think this thing is going to come off really neat. The thing that the advantage that you're going to have with it is the fact that you can let the pieces float around in the cabin. Tell me what you're, I, I, I guess I sort of understand what you're going to do with this thing. Are you, you're going to take it apart and put it together in front of the, in front of cameras or are you? While, I, while I'm talking about it, I, I figured I would be um, putting parts of it together. Obviously the, this whole piece down here is welded or yeah, uh, yeah, secured. I know we yeah. which, Ideally, it'd be nice to have all the pieces to, yeah, but to that put, might be kind but of I realize, I realize, and also, uh, we're very limited on time. Yeah. We're talking about two, three minutes, probably, at, at the oh, most. But in two or three minutes, you can do a fair You can. Amount. You can. We didn't want to really assemble it on camera. I thought three minutes. But I can also, I'm much more comfortable in, in when I, I'm teaching in front of a classroom, I'm much more comfortable talking about something and doing something at the same time. And that's not distracting for kids. If you're talking about the thing that you're doing, it's yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. And, and in that fact, it helps them focus. It would be much better for me to be doing that. And that's one of the, the key things about this is that it is pieced together. It doesn't go up like that. Yeah. This is not a bad. No words, I, I asked you, started to ask you about, are you going to be able to say much about Oh, the people? The, the, the people part of it. Uh, are you? That's probably pretty important. Sure. That there are. And well, David had talked about. A um, few people in there. That it, we don't know how many. Starting with maybe like four to eight and then going up to possibly 12 or more. We might be able to squeeze eight out of the. Depends on how much. How many of these modules we end up end up building. The electrical generation and conversion activity generates heat and so we have to have a radiator system to get rid of the heat on this part of the ship when it's up there flying by itself. And so the first launch takes up a little electricity, it takes up a little heat rejection, it also will take up an attitude control system. There will be computers and, a, and it'll have a couple of those antennas we were talking about because it has to be self-sufficient. We've got to be able to, and we'll, we'll fly it from the control center over here just like we would an unmanned spacecraft. When you show them the whole thing after it's put together, you ought to tell them it's bigger than a football field. It's one of the things oh, that I've okay. also um, Because having this was very helpful because kids um, have a much well, they're pers they, they well, have, they're, have a pretty good size idea perspective yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. How, how big and, this yes, is, and yeah. then to show it against mm -hmm. that. So that was helpful. Just with with it um, without this, it would be very hard yeah. you know, to explain it. Yeah. And you're much better giving comparisons to kids or, or examples and than numbers. To, to the numbers, numbers don't need to make too much sense out of that. Yeah. 